at this point, you've done some acceleration examples and have a feel for the concept of acceleration. So now it's time to talk a little more about direction. Recall that displacement is a vector quantity, so it has both magnitude and direction. Velocity is also a vector quantity. And the direction for velocity is very easy. It's simply the same direction as the displacement. For acceleration, the direction isn't always so obvious. Sometimes the direction of acceleration can be in the opposite direction as the velocity and displacement. For example, if you're driving along in your car at 60 kilometers per hour, let's say this is the positive direction, then you hit the brakes and you come to a stop. So, during the stop, your displacement is in the positive direction, which means that your velocity is also in the positive direction. But you're slowing down. Therefore, your final velocity is smaller than your initial velocity. You went from 60 kilometers per hour to zero. Your delta V, therefore, would be VF minus VI, negative 60 kilometers per hour in this case. Therefore, your acceleration is a negative. So your displacement and velocity arrows would be in this direction, showing that they're both positive. But the acceleration vector arrow would point in this direction, showing that it is negative. When acceleration is negative, we sometimes use the term deceleration. In this case, the car, once the brakes were applied, is decelerating, or having a negative acceleration. So let's switch things up and explore this a little more. What if we were driving in the opposite direction originally? That is, the positive direction is still considered this way, but now we're originally heading this way, in the opposite direction. In this case, we'd say that the displacement and the velocity during the braking are both negative. We're going this way. That's no problem. We've done some questions involving negative velocity. That is simply going in the opposite direction to what we consider positive. No big deal. But when the brakes are applied, we're slowing down again. This means that the acceleration would be in this direction, and that's the positive direction. So in this case, we'd say we have positive acceleration. We're still slowing down, but because of our directions, we'd say it's a positive acceleration. The velocity is becoming less and less negative. Therefore, we could say the velocity is becoming more positive. It's accelerating. A little weird, eh? But really, not as much if you recognize that the positive and negative directions could be either direction. We just have to be consistent with the directions that we choose as we solve our problems, and it all becomes a little more sensible. The directions are important, not as much which way we decide to consider positive and negative, but important that we stay consistent when we set those as we work through a problem. Let's shake this up one more time as we consider this. Let's point the car in this direction again. But we're speeding up this time. That is, we're hitting the gas and the car is speeding up in this direction. Again, since our displacement and velocity are in this direction, we consider them both to be negative. Since we are speeding up in this direction, we'd say that the car's velocity is getting more and more negative, going from 0 to negative 60. Therefore, the acceleration, or the change in velocity, is also negative. It's becoming increasingly negative. So, we went from 0 to negative 60, and we could determine the change in velocity, or delta V, to be negative 60 minus 0, or negative 60 which confirms a negative acceleration. 
In this tutorial, we took another look at acceleration, but this time we focused on the direction of acceleration. We determined that although displacement and velocity are all pretty darn straightforward as far as direction goes, with acceleration, the direction requires a little more attention to detail. The direction of acceleration can be in the same direction as the velocity, or it might even be in the opposite direction. You really have to pay attention to the directions and the overall change in velocity to determine the direction of the acceleration.